back to Kaylee's Chronicles, Mythbusters edition. Whenever I mention to other performers that I specialize in historical performance, I notice they have a lot of ideas about what rules are involved in playing that way. Let's take a look at these rules and see which ones are more myth than fact. common rule that I hear is that period performance means absolutely no vibrato. Wait, I have to turn it off? <laughs> Let's check and see what some of the great teachers of the Baroque period had to say about that. Is there an off switch anywhere? I can see some people being confused because in the treaties they refer to vibrato as tremolo, which is something completely different today. How do you know vibrato and tremolo are the same thing? Well lucky for us they took the time to describe tremolo as the oscillation of the left hand finger on the string which is what we call vibrato today. Mozart's father, Leopold, was Mozart's first violin teacher, and he wrote a great treatise on violin playing. Leopold addresses tremolo, or vibrato as we call it today, in this treatise. This not only shows that they used it, but also that they saw it very differently than we see vibrato today. Leopold instructs the reader not to vibrate on every single note. I didn't find the off switch. In his blunt way of writing, he compares this to having palsy. He tells the reader that tremolo should only be used where nature herself would produce it. Yeah, okay, that's a little vague. So let's turn to another great violin teacher for some clarification. Francesco Gemignani was an Italian violinist and a very avid teacher. Lucky for us, he also wrote a violin treatise. To keep us on our toes, he adds another term for vibrato, the close shape. He uses that and tremolo in this treatise. Further investigation is required. He puts both the close shake and the tremolo into one exercise, which suggests they might be the same thing or something very similar. Gemignani describes the close shake very clearly as the oscillation of the left hand Finger, the same way Leopold Mozart did. But why two names? Well, they didn't just create the close shake or the vibrato with the left hand, they also created it with the right hand and the bow. You often see the word tremolo in Baroque manuscripts to signify the soft pressure of the right hand with the bow to create the oscillation of vibrato. Today we just refer to that as bow vibrato. I might need more evidence. When looking at Gemignani's example, the symbol that he's created for vibrato, or tremolo, not only appears over a fingered note, but also over an open string. If you can't vibrate with your left hand on open string, vibrate with your bow. So what have we figured out today? When starting to play something from a historical perspective, don't just try to find that off switch for your vibrato. It's very important to remember two things. <laughs> It's very important to remember three things. First, that vibrato existed. Second, that there's more than one kind of vibrato. There's the left hand vibrato and there's the bow vibrato, which creates slightly different effects. And third, remembering that vibrato had a different function than it does today. Leopold Mozart said not to use vibrato on every single note, and Gemignani put his instructions for vibrato under the ornament section. Instead, see vibrato under the category of trills or other ornaments that you can throw in to add a little extra spice to your favorite notes. So, myth busted? Wait, he thoroughly explains what the close shake and tremolo is in the examples, but doesn't actually use the symbol in the real music. Yeah. Gemignani didn't actually show you where to close shake specifically in the music. I think he hopes you've developed good taste by the time you've read through the examples and know what to do. Not always as black and white as it may seem. Good luck! As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you want to watch a previous video, I'm going to put it here. And if you want to watch a trailer to know exactly what this channel is about, it'll be here. I'm just going to make it up. I don't actually know what I'm doing. We'll figure it out. I was thinking about having a Mythbusters series. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll be sure to make some more. And if you have any myths you want busted, leave them in the comments below so I can see what I can do to clarify it. Thanks for watching. But you ain't just exactly